Ron Harper, when we were scouting him, the thing that we liked the most was he was kind of a gamer. He was a guy that loved taking big shots. And I think that this G League setting is a place where he can, you know, play 30 minutes and kind of embrace being the leader of the team. This is going to be like his proving ground to show, you know, I can kind of carry a team. We really like his leadership qualities. It's not just his play, but also his voice. And then with Jeff Dowden, we always kept an eye on him. This was a guy that we thought, like, that's a really sharp point guard. Like, he really saw the game in a smart, cerebral way, but also had a kind of toughness about him. I think we're good for his own development, but he's good for everyone else's development around him, too. Hey. It's good, buddy. You know Jeff's journey to get here at this point. Can you explain it to the, the people the, from what you know? All right. He don't know nothing. No, 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 I know. So Jeff reigns out of Maryland, the DMV area. Self-proclaimed best hoopers in America, but we know that's a tri-state area anyways. But, you know, my man Jeff went to Rhode Island, played for a great coach, Coach Hurley, New Jersey legend. Just want to throw that out there. That was Jeff's mentor early. <laughs> and then he entered the draft during the COVID year. Went to the bubble, the G League bubble, won a championship, won a championship. And since then, Jeff's gone on a journey. You know, he's been in Orlando. He's been in uh, Golden State and, you know, led him to here, Toronto, which is now his home. You know, my two-way brother. So now we're here together. Ronald Harper Jr., the second. Yo, this is crazy. The second's crazy. Four years at Rutgers. Facts. From Jersey, stayed at home. Facts. Then declared for the draft. Fig, you had it. Easier than me when I declared during COVID, we had no like. That workouts. was like that was like an eight month draft period yeah, too, right? No Kept workouts, getting pushed back. no anything. So at least you had like workouts, pre draft, all that. So that was good. Um, then signed the two way after draft night with Toronto, and then ever since then, we found a home. Facts. That's Been dope. locked in. Been locked in. Yeah. I think guys like Ron and Jeff actually have choices where they would go. Ron goes undrafted. He's got a choice of the whole league kind of coming at him probably on draft night to say, where do you want to go? Oh! oh, yeah. oh. I got you, I got you, I got you. Dowden coming off of, he won a G League title. He was one of the best guards in the G League last year. He got multiple call-ups. He's looking for the place that can take him to the NBA. We have to pitch to those guys like, this is the best development environment for you. We're a consistent winner. You know, you can be a part of that. You'll get seen and you'll be ready to take the next step, you know, into the league, you know, hopefully with the Raptors sooner than later. I was walking into the casino one day <laughs> and me and Jeff hadn't really hung out like this. Like before I'm walking into the casino, I got like, I don't know, probably like $400 of chips and I'm just like, damn, I'm losing it all. Like, I, I took out like a band. And I see, I'm walking back to my room and I see Jeff and I'm like, yo, where you going? He's like, I want to play blackjack. I'm like, I'm with you. Went with Jeff and I lost no, it all. No, no, we definitely did. I lost it all. I lost it all. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> like ever since me and Jeff went to that blackjack table the night before, <laughs> we just hung out ever since, laugh about it. It's like when you go to college, like I know I had this, like the person who was your roommate, like I was on a team that you went into school with. And like y'all kind of do everything together, y'all like you feel me? Always yeah. in cahoots, always on the same page. That's kind of how I feel with Jeff. Like we live in the same building, we basically go everywhere together. So it's like it's kind of like the same thing from college. Like kind of just having that bond. Yeah, definitely. I feel like you know when you come into college and you have like that freshman class, all y'all nice. like coming in it together, not knowing what to expect, all experiencing the same things. It's coming to a new program, two two way guys. Um, you know, being with the program since summer, going to LA with the guys, working out, just doing everything together. We've been with each other since like July. Mm -hmm. So just that process, us going through it all together, it makes it a lot easier because, you know, you have somebody, like we said earlier, um, to relate to. I've been thinking about wearing some new Kobe's. I don't know though. That's <laughs> up for debate. Tonight though, I should, I should rock some new Kobe's tonight. I say that about the go crazy stuff. Yeah. Sure, I never wore these before. I've been waiting for the right time. I got them in the summer. But yeah, now I'm ready to head out for the game. Jordan, I'm catch you later, my brother. Catch you, brother. Yup. See you at Paramount Fine Food Center.
was able to supposed to meet us, but his pregame nap was a little prolonged, you know, so he took an extra like 30 minutes. But, you know, can't put it past Jeff. Sometimes you gotta get that rest. Big game tonight, so gotta lock in. It takes me like five minutes to get in and out of this parking garage every day, at least. Like today, I, I overslept and I missed my alarm and I was like, ah, uh, I just called an Uber because if I come down here and get my car, it's like an extra 10 minutes. <laughs> get in the car. Bro, why you got all this water in here? <laughs> Jeff, you know I try to stay hydrated. Nah, this is crazy, bro. Jeff. Bro, you got every different brand, bro. Jeff, don't do that. Bro, you got every brand of water in it. I got him what? Cooling Springs? <laughs> bro, that's every water, bro. Well, we were Ubering for, for a minute, and it was getting mad expensive. And then I had went, I had ended up going home for a couple of days and then me and my brother drove the car back. So it's been good to have the car here for sure. It definitely worked out for me. <laughs> me yeah. too. Both Uber account was going crazy for, I probably have a million Uber points. Uber way too much. Facts. Way too I'm probably like a platinum member. <laughs> this right here, this restaurant to the left, get this on the camera. This is, they need to sponsor the G League team. Bro, y'all go to Hibachi way too much, They need bro. to sponsor us. This is the spot right here. <laughs> now open. This is the spot. Oh, yeah, I go there like every other day. You get the same thing. That's a fact. That's, same, it's fire. What do, you, what do you get? What's the order? Uh, it's a triple A sirloin with veggie fried rice. Sometimes noodles, depending on how I'm feeling. That actually sounds fire. Be going crazy. You be going crazy. I haven't found no places for Filipino food out here yet. But once I once I find my spots, yeah, we definitely. I love chicken adobo. That's my favorite dish by far. Yeah. But you know, it's always different when it's home cooked versus everything else. So I'm gonna have to try it out first, give an honest evaluation. I like the lupia too. Fire. But yeah, we're gonna see what Toronto's talking about when it comes to the Philippines. Just get out of a two-hour practice, and you know you got to drive an hour downtown to get to the game. It makes it, it makes you feel a lot better that you got somebody going with you. I yeah, can tell you that no, much. It does. It makes the process a lot easier having somebody going through the same thing you're going through. So exactly. I can somebody kind of like to relate, relate to. to. Yeah. I had that with Jordan Lloyd and Mal uh, Malcolm during that time. Um, we used to do back and forth and all that, and we definitely got closer to that. You know, I still talk to Malcolm and all that, so. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's a bounding that you could make it special. Obviously, you don't really know where anybody's going to go. You know, the NBA people leave and come, and I think it's going to be good for them just to build a relationship, and they play together, so it's building chemistry, and, you know, it's just a, a partner to, to go through the hard time with. Having someone that, that kind of, like, is in the same situation as you, like, it's, it's probably good, and, and, and maybe help you focus a little bit more, because some people, I remember back in the day, like, you get really lost in there, you know, like going from being in the NBA to, to going to the G League, like you get sent in these road trips and it feels like, oh my God, like, because the difference from the NBA to there and, and everything and you're there by yourself and, and all the guys in the, in, the, in the G League are looking at you like, man, like I want to be in this spot, you know, like, and, and for you, you coming in like, I want to get out of here, like I want to be in the NBA. So it could be, it could be a, a tough spot and, and people get lost down there. So. Probably good to have someone that, that can relate to you. We had a home game here. Then after the home game, uh, 905 was leaving tomorrow. So I, I, they told me I was going with 905. After the game, they said, no, you're going with the Raptors to, uh, to Dallas. So I had to pack my bags and go with them to Dallas. Then after that trip, I flew from Dallas to DC because we started our season with, um, yeah, with 905. So I had to go from here to Dallas, then Dallas back to DC. And it was crazy experience. I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is a lot. I was on the road with uh, with 905 and we were out in Delaware for, I want to say we was there for like three or four days, man. And so uh, I just packed enough clothes to get by, right? <laughs> So I'm thinking I'm, fin I'm thinking <laughs> I'm fine. I'm thinking I'm finna leave the next morning, and if we're just gonna go back to Toronto. I get like a, I get a call at like it's like it's probably like ten o'clock at night or like probably nine ten, and they're like, yeah, uh, we're about to send you your itinerary. You're coming to Atlanta. <laughs> we have like eight dudes available. I'm like, oh, I was tired, man. I got to the airport. 
I went to I went to sleep as soon as I got on the plane, and I woke up and we landed and we landed mad late. So I had missed film and everything, and I had to send him a text and I was like, yeah, I just landed, missed film. So I had to rush to the hotel, eat, do treatment, go over the game plan, watch film, and then I literally had 30 like 45 minutes to go sit in my room, and then back like back on the bus, time. and then right. game time, and I was tired, but. I said I wouldn't have it any other way, it's an opportunity. So yeah. I was there, I was happy to be there too. We love it though, like Facts. basketball 24 I love it, I but love it. Some but days, it'll be, some days it gets treacherous. Some days we have 9.05 practice in yeah. the AM at like 9, 9.30, and we live like 10 minutes away, so that's cool. But then you get that call and you're like, oh, you're yeah. dressing for the Raptors game. Make sure you're at Scotia yeah. for late yeah, shoot around at 4:15. Yeah. You're like, dang, gotta get. You gotta leave at like three. Traffic get crazy, and then leaving Scotia takes you about 30 minutes to get to the crib. It's just like days like those. It's like really test like how much you nice really want to be here. Yeah, you gotta you gotta walk in with that same attitude. Like you feel me? Like walk in like you proved nothing and just go with the flow, man. At the end of the day, I tell people all the time. You know, I I be busy, busy as hell, but I got the best job in the world, so it don't even matter to me. It's like a real different situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, we when we walk into practice here, like, we expect to be leaders, you feel me? Like, expect to lead the team. Eagle, Eagle, Eagle Red! Eagle Red! Yo, yo, hey, last time, last time we went up and they caught timeout, they stormed back. So let's get this stop out the timeout, bro. Yo, Red! Yo, we on that, it starts with that defense. We go, we go up top with the Raptors. Like we walk in, and like we're still learning, really. Like we're still learning yeah. all the ins and outs of the system. Uh, you know, I feel like when we're up there, we try to take things that we learn from the other guys. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of those those guys been through like the G League process, like exactly, Fred, like Fred, Pascal, Pascal, Pascal Chris, C B, Cam, like, yeah, even Cam, yeah, all those guys, even Justin's been through the G League process. So we take bits and pieces from them. They kind of, you know, guide us through things. They trying to do everything to be careful just on the line level. So coaches, players, reps, everything. You know what I'm saying? And it's like these type of things like hockey. It's cold, four hard. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't all this meals and all that much like meals. It ain't all that meals. But it helped me for sure. And we bring it down here. And like Ron said, you know, us being the leaders and the guys that kind of get things in order, we take what they give us and give it to everybody else out here and it kind of works out. You got switch it! Yo, wait, you see me big him? Oh, you didn't see me, you seen it. Why are you hating? You're hating, OD. I mixed them. That's what you're talking about? Jeff, I hit a step back three. How, who did I make on the lane? Was it cut? I did. Yo, yo, Jeff, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff. All right, Jeff. All right, Jeff. All right, Jeff. Watch when folks go back for Thanksgiving. You're not getting, I'm not driving you to OVO. You're gonna have to call the Uber. And to the game, too. That's how, that's how I'm getting down. Yeah, since you want to hate. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. You gotta see him, Jeff. Hold up. I don't know if I'm aware of him yet. I might bait. I can't lie. Yeah, yeah, I might bait, though. I might bait. Why not? I might, I might bait. Because we're wearing, we got black undergarments on. Just do it, right? Ah, I might bluff, I might be. It's all in the air. Oh yeah, we early, we early, Chad. I had to make up for earlier. Oh, we all got slides, it's lit. I've been wearing sh small shower slides, like size 13, I'm a 17. So now I finally got shower slides. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna lie, I might bait on these Kobe's today. They might be quiet. I got a bunch though, I got flavors. I got flavors. I got these. I got the Bruce Lee's. I got the new bronze in there. I got the, the Uno Giannis's. I got these Kobe's. So I have a lot of, I got the new GT cuts. So we're gonna see. I may think pink tonight, but we may go another route too, so. One thing I will say is, and I tell everybody is, they, um, how the Raptors is ran is very similar to how 905 tries to, you know, run their organization and everything is so close-knit. So it's like, 
the coaches in Nona Five take things from the Raptors and try to implement it here. And mm-hmm. it makes it a lot easier for us transitioning from being up there and being down there. And you can just tell how things are run. Everything is so organized. You know, like our daily schedules, our plans, workouts, you know, treatment, weightlifting, all of that. And the coaches, you know, whenever we want to get in the gym, it's no problem. And like I said, we're in the gym. I lie to you not every day. We haven't had an off day since far July. Like we're just in the gym nonstop working out. And they love it too. Like they're pushing us. You know, we're calling Jimbo. Yo, Jimbo, we're in the gym at 10 a.m. next morning. And he's right there on time. Like, yo, we got a lift right after practice. Everything's on point. So Mm -hmm. I, I love it. I love how it is. For me, it's like, like I said, just call Jimbo, text Jimbo. He'd be like 930. Jimbo crazy too. He'll be like, Get in at nine, shoot for 30 minutes, uh, eat breakfast for 30 minutes, <laughs> lift at 10, back of the court 10 30, practice at 11. <laughs> we have Jimbo. two workouts, we have two workouts done before we even practice, and then work out after Facts. practice. That's a fact, though. Love it, but that's love how it be. You gotta really love it, though. Wow, and now, you know, sure. it's just way different for me from college, but it's, I embrace it. I'm shooting basketballs all day, so <laughs> I could, you feel me? It, is a, it could always be worse. So I, I show up. Smile all day, make jokes, shoot the ball, lift the weights, run around, and just try to do my part. All credit to those two guys because we coach them hard and they are very, very coachable. And they're putting themselves in the best position possible to succeed. They have such great energy and enthusiasm and willingness to get better, and it's gonna pay off for them. Like that, that you start with that. You start with that. The scouts did a great job of identifying them front office did a great job of of giving us the resources to get them in the gym, to get them out to LA, to keep them out there for an extended period. And you can see their growth and their progress. All right, so, and that's a bucket every time. I feel like being two-way guys, they don't look at us to grow a whole bunch in a short period of time, but they always want to see growth from us as the season progresses. They want to see how we handle things down here with these guys, how we, uh, how we carry ourselves as leaders, as people that the team looks to, to kind of get things in order. And then they also want to see us grow when we're with them. You know, they want to see us grow when we're at practice, uh, see us more engaged and shoot around. If they throw us in the game, they want to see positive results. So, you know, just every day is an opportunity. That's the way I look at it. Uh, You just got to show up with the right mindset and know what you're there for. And, you know, it's master your role. And that's really all I've been trying to do, so. Look, 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 look. We're going to go right back to it. That, that's it the whole game. Pocket pass is there. The pocket pass is wide open. The better screen you said, it's there every time. Defense on three. One, two, three. I think those two, when I was coming back, I was like, you know, I had a little workout with them, like kind of like trying to get back to speed. Um, but I think just seeing them from the summer, like they they, they here and, and um and now, nah, like they want to work hard. They, I'm sure they, they're looking at our team and they want to spy and, and they're working hard to get that. I know it's kind of hard for them. Obviously, you don't know if you're going to get minutes and all that, but I think they're really doing a really good job just getting involved and trying to help the team as much as they can. And great character, great guys. I really mess with them. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. We want to be seen as, obviously, you know, it's like 15 roster spots, then the two white guys. We want to be seen as guys that are a part of that team, you mm-hmm. know, not looking at guys like, yo, those are two way guys. Like, no, nah, we are. Toronto Raptor players, like we're on the roster, like, you know, we're part of the team and, you know, we're like part of the family. So that's the kind of like the way we look at it. It's not just like, you know, Jeff and Ron and two-way guys, not Jeff and Ron and Raptors, like they're on the roster. They know everything that's going on up there. You know, you can put us in any situation that those guys are in and we'll fit right in, like Mm -hmm. there won't be no letdown. So that's kind of like how we approach it. And uh, it helps us, helps us out a lot. Just knowing that, you know, we can be, put right in there and then it won't like no drop off, no anything. Kevin, you show me what's good. No one has passion like you. And you know that's worth capturing, right? This isn't just another city. This is my home. Google Pixel 7, even better with Bell.